<laughs> Hi guys, thanks for coming to my channel. This is where we're going to be looking at audiobooks and how we can improve what we can do and what we can learn from some of the best audiobooks in the world. And I want to let you in on a little secret. If you're not a fast reader, I'm not either. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be conquering that with audiobooks. We can listen to the audiobooks. I'll show you how. And if you have any questions, let me know. So let's get into this. I look forward to going on this journey with you. So in 1895, I lost his hotel and decided to write a book called Pushing to the Front. Now, I've not read this one yet. If anybody has read Pushing to the Front, I'd love to know what you think about it. Because it's a story about determination and um, not giving up. So he lost his hotel. He decided to write a self-help book. And he did it for a year. Almost exactly when he finished the book. He went to the shops down the road uh, to celebrate. And then unfortunately, his house burnt down with the manuscript inside it. He lost everything. Obviously, you know, 100 years ago, there's no computers, no technology. He lost everything. The manuscript was completely gone. It took him a whole year to write it. And what did he do? He spent another year writing it again. He finished it. And then after he finished writing it, nobody wanted to publish it. So what he did is he forgot about it. He moved to another, country, another part of the US and on the surface had technically failed in his task. He hadn't become what he wanted to be. And it almost seemed like wasted effort. However, this guy, after spending two years writing two different books, and the second one was a lot bigger than the first one, when he couldn't get it published, it could, seem, it could have seemed like that was the end of his dreams. About a year or two later, when he told somebody about this book, it just happened that they knew a publisher. He got the book published and it became one of the best sellers that was read by J.P. Morgan, Henry Ford, all of the great minds of that era. So don't give up. Don't give up. Let's be persistent and let's carry on until. Now he says there are two things. Uh, get to itiveness and stick to itiveness. So getting it done and sticking to it. Albert Hubbard wrote, There's no failure apart from the failure of no longer trying. He says that your greatest success invariably comes one step after everything inside you tells you to quit. Don't give up on the one yard line just when you're about to make it. Let's keep going, keep going, stick to it and drive. He says that just before success comes, failure looms. And it's what you do in those moments that will decide your fate ultimately. So if you, uh, if you have any questions you'd like to, me to answer on Tiny Habits, uh, just write. There was an interesting statement that I heard the other day. And it says the difference between pressure and stress is that pressure is things that you deal with. It helps you grow. Stress crushes you. And it said that stress is just pressure that you don't deal with. So is there anything that you're avoiding? And is there anything that you're putting off? And is it causing you stress? Because you might be causing a little bit of your own stress and anxiety here. And the good news is, if that's the case, you can change it. You can eliminate it and you can make the adjustments to reduce the stress by dealing with the situations that do have pressure attached to them. But by dealing with them, you'll start to get better at not only achieving tasks, but better at making promises to yourself, better at keeping the promises to yourself, and ultimately delivering and getting these goals sorted out and nailed. He says that when you avoid the thing that you fear, the fear grows. So deal with it handle it and if you are in that stage where it's been a little bit too long step by step well begun is half done and it's imperfect practice that makes perfect we will all be bad when we start new things we will all be bad when we try things we've never tried it's just about understanding that there's a process and we need to go through it to get to the other side he says that some people are so afraid of making mistakes that they'll wait until they understand exactly what everybody else thinks before making a move so that they can avoid criticism, so they can avoid doubt. But one thing that I think this book highlights is that that is what fear magnifies. It magnifies all these doubts. It magnifies all these um, negative emotions that we can feel when we don't deal with the most 
important things um, and the most prescient, the biggest issues that, are, that we're facing at the moment. Now, if we understand what we're afraid of, afraid of failure, afraid of rejection, then we can start to understand, is this serving me? Is this helping me? Is this not helping me? And if it's not, we can start to understand what we might be able to do to remove it. Now, he says the higher the goals that we set, the bigger the pushback, the bigger the inertia will be. So let's set some massive goals, but let's understand that it will be hard. It'll take time and we will only get better through practice, repetition and determination. He says, whenever you feel fear, if you switch your mind to the goals that you want to achieve, like you want to help your family members do X, Y, Z, by doing that, you don't focus on the thing that you're afraid of. You focus on the thing that you will gain if you conquer or just merely delay the fear. This goes back to the point where he says, think about what you want, not what you don't want. Think about what achieving your goals will give you. Don't think about what the fear would generate. Don't think about the negativity. Think about what achieving your goals would do. And this is why setting goals is so important because if you don't set goals that are big enough and you don't know what your goals are, then when the fear happens, you won't have a reason to push through. Jim Rohn said, if the why is big enough, it'll conquer almost any how, which I think is beautiful. Whenever you feel fear, switch your mind to the goals that you want to achieve, not the thing that the fear will deliver to you. Think about the growth and the epicness of achieving what you want. Confucius said, the greatest victory is rising every time you fall, not never falling. So let's get up, let's get the knocks, let's fail, let's be tenacious and keep going until we achieve our goals. Now, one last thing that the book says is there's a direct correlation between the amount of things you try and your success. So I suppose in summary, the book is brilliant. If you're a slow reader, listen to the audio book of this. If you're a fast reader, read it. <laughs> but if you are a slow reader, audio is definitely the way to go. I listened to this over a, a, a couple of days and it's a very short listen. Highly recommend it. I'm going to give this a rating of 8 out of 10 because it's positive, it's thought provoking and it gives you a lot of actionable steps that you can do to actually achieve your goals. The bullet points are think about what you want, write down the goals, make them big and then do steps every day to achieve those goals. So I want to say thank you for watching this review, guys. Uh, the next video is going to be about tiny habits. So if you've got a habit that you're not doing at the moment, if you've got something in your life that you, you wish you were doing more of, like you keep telling yourself you're going to go to the gym, you keep telling yourself you're going to eat healthier, this book can really help you mentally understand what you can do to overcome your own objections and the own, your own barriers that you're putting in your own way. <laughs> Thank you for watching this series on goals written by Brian Tracy. I'm going to be implementing a few of these things into my life. If you do the same, I would love to know what your results are and how it's working for you. Stay tuned for next week when I'm going to be releasing a video about tiny habits, which will tell you exactly what you can do to do what you want to do to get the results that you want to get.